Existing path generation methods for thermoplastic materials rely on transfer moves for navigating between different parts of the model in a given layer. When used for clay printing, these transfer moves lead to severe artifacts and failure. This problem generally occurs for models with multiple disconnected components, and it is especially severe for shapes with overhangs that require additional support structure. We propose a method for integrated toolpath planning and support structure generation tailored to the specific constraints of paste extrusion printing. As the core of our approach, we guarantee a single continuous print path for the entire model and thus eliminate transfer moves and their corresponding artifacts. Our deposition paths are optimized to be self-supporting, economical in terms of print times and material use, and to facilitate removal of the non-model structure. Given a sliced input model, our algorithm traverses the layer stack from top to bottom, maintaining the invariant that each layer is a continuous, cyclic path that provides sufficient support for the layer above. In each layer, we first solve a discrete path planning problem to connect model path and support points into a continuous deposition path. The resulting path is then further optimized with respect to length, smoothness, and model avoidance. We briefly explain these two main steps in the following. For any given layer, we first generate a set of additional points such as to provide sufficient support for the layer above. We then compute a short, continuous path that passes through all the model points and all the support points. Using a shortest Hamiltonian path algorithm on this set of points, the resulting path will generally not follow the model path continuously, which leads to unacceptable print quality. To avoid this problem, we represent model path using a single connection point that we pass to the shortest path solver. The resulting path allows us to branch out at connection points and print the cyclic model path as one continuous segment. However, the generated path still crosses the model multiple times, which would lead to unacceptable artifacts once printed. We address this problem by modifying the cost of model crossing path segments to reflect the length of a corresponding model avoiding path. To this end, we first introduce safeguarding proxy geometry around the model path, allowing the deposition path to navigate around the model at a close but safe distance. We then construct a graph containing the proxy geometry and all support points but discard any edges that cross through the model. Using Dijkstra's algorithm, we then compute all pairwise distances between the points of the graph and pass the corresponding model avoiding metric to the shortest Hamiltonian path algorithm. The resulting path allows us to print all model path continuously without crossing through the model unnecessarily. Applying our path planning algorithm from top to bottom in each layer yields a single continuous self-supporting deposition path. Without modification, however, the generated path would grow in length and complexity from top to bottom, increasing print time, material cost, and the difficulty of removing the non-model structure. We solve these issues by optimizing the shape of the non-model structure with respect to length, curvature, and distance to the model. As can be seen in this comparison, path optimization leads to significantly smoother and less dense non-model structure that is faster to print and easier to remove. Please refer to the paper for more details. Thank you.